Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. I just wanted to give you a little taste of what we're doing on the RedmenTV.com. For 18 weeks on the bounce, I've been producing a show called The Stats and Tactics Weekly. It's an absolute passion of mine. And I just wanted to share with you something that I've learned this week. It is absolutely incredible and it will make you feel so good about next season that you will not be able to contain yourself. So, I think you can see here, I'll, I'll give you a second to sort of familiarise yourself with it. We've got the player, position, appearances, minutes played, goals, assists, shots per 90, key passes per 90, expected goals, expected assists, expected goals per 90, and expected assists per 90. Now, let's have a look at Mo Salah. Obviously, he scored the most goals for us. Um, he was expected to score 25 goals. He actually scored... 32 goals in the Premier League, I think we all know that one by now, and he actually outperformed his expected assists as well, you know, he, they wanted him to get 8.34, but he actually gets 10. Um, interestingly, it's Bobby Firmino who underperforms against his expected assists, I thought that was quite strange, you know, a guy that you you kind of think to yourself, well, he's the guy who sets up the guys, isn't he? But Mo Salah gets more assists in the Premier League than Roberto Firmino come the end of the season. Now, Salah and Firmino, uh, sorry, Mane and Firmino both get seven assists. And, you know, look at this, expected goals on Sadio Mane. He's the one in our top six players who doesn't get as many goals as he was supposed to. And, yeah, look, we've seen Sadio Mane, even uh, as recently as Brighton, fluff his lines, quite honestly, when he gets into one-on-one -on -one situations. And, you know, uh, we'll we'll hope for improvement in that but when we dig a little bit deeper which we're about to do we'll maybe understand why he won't actually improve that so we can look at Mo Salah in a little bit more depth and detail there's a nice little graphic here this blue one is average stats and this is where he's outperforming in every single uh, facet of, uh, of, 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 of these stats I suppose so one thing that gives me great heart about Mohamed Salah and why I will always argue with anybody who tells me that he's a one season wonder, that he's not going to be able to perform at this level again, is this page here. Because you can see we've got his seasons listed from Chelsea to Fiorentina, the last two Roma seasons and then Liverpool. Now look at that. Expected goals. He has outperformed his expected goals every single season. Now this was the best season. Of course it was in terms of overperforming but that that doesn't show that that's a trend that doesn't show me that this guy's a one season wonder as long as he continues to get into the right positions he'll continue to score goals and Jurgen Klopp and this Liverpool side are built around freeing up space for Mohamed Salah and making sure that he is in the best possible position to score goals. And him as a finisher has been outperforming his XG for four years straight. Therefore, he's not a one-season wonder. As long as Liverpool can keep on getting him into the right positions, which I trust that we will do, he will continue to score loads and loads of goals for Liverpool. We'll actually look at the shot types and we'll look at it just for the 2017-18 season. He had 121 shots with his left boot, 14 with his right, eight headed attempts. Now, he scored 25 goals with his left boot, five with his right boot and two with his head. Um, look at this, key passes though. 22 key passes with his right, his left foot. 28 key passes with his right foot. Is that because defenders aren't expecting it? Is that because they just think, oh, this guy's just so left footed that he can take them by surprise and he's very, very good with his right foot, underrated. And look again, look at the expected goals. He's outperformed in every area, heading, right foot, and left foot. Now, obviously, the biggest spike is his left foot because he's boss with that. But that gives me heart as well that he managed to outperform his XG on both his right foot and his header. Uh, and interestingly, his left-footed assist was the only one that he underperformed on against his expected assist. He overperformed on right foot and headed as well, which is a little bit nuts, isn't it? Um, and then, yeah, so that's, that's Mohamed Salah. Uh, and then we can go back and we'll look at Roberto Firmino next. Now, another guy who has just been incredible all season long, really. And you can see on the screen here, he's outperformed the average in every place, but nowhere near as well as um, Mohamed Salah. And again, we'll look at it, we'll look at it across the last four years, but pay particular notice to the last three, outperformed his XG, outperformed his XG, outperformed his XG, but this is his best improvement. Now, his assists, again, a little bit strange that he's underperformed both of them, 
but yeah, you know what, absolutely brilliant. Let's have a look at his shot types there, and we'll have to set this by season, so we'll go to 2017-18. He's actually had 49 right-footed shots, 19 left-footed shots, 15 headed shots, and one other body part shot, which he underperformed his, his XG on. He should have got two-thirds of a goal with that other body part. I've no idea what that was, but he didn't, unfortunately, which is good, and I'm guessing it was probably a chest or something, shoulder maybe, knee, who knows, with, uh, with Roberto Firmino. It could have been anything. It could have been his nipple, couldn't it, or anything. Um, and again, yeah, look, you can see he scored 10 goals with his right foot, two with his left, three with his headers, uh, three key passes with his headers, and then very equal spread as well, just like Mohamed Salah, 28 key passes with his right foot, 25 key passes with his left foot, three assists with his right, three assists, assists with his left and one headed assist. So we're going to go back now and we're going to look at Sadio Mane, the other of the front three, but the one that's not celebrated in quite the same way. Look at that. His expected goals and his expected uh, goals per 90. Very, very good. Uh, just under a half, isn't it? And again, you can see here, and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier on. You know, he's underperformed his XG this season. He's overperformed his XG the season before. He's underperformed and he's overperformed. And that's that's not the trend that I showed you with Mohamed Salah. That is a guy who is a, just a little bit inconsistent. And I've said it a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. It's why I think he's a winger. It's why I think he's a you know he's a, maybe an inside forward or something like that. And he's not a striker. He's not going to be the guy who we uh, absolutely set this team around to go and finish. Um, opportunities like Mohamed Salah because ultimately he's just not as good as finisher and he's going to get into great situations, he's going to get into great positions but he is going to let you down at some point and over the course of the last four years he has been a little bit up and down in terms of XG. Um, shot types and we'll have to set this by season as well, 40 right footed shots, 20 left footed shots quite a lot and then 10 headed attempts and you know you can see the only one he does really well on and he outperforms expected goals and expected assists is actually with his left boot uh, where he just tends to drive the ball as hard as possible, doesn't he? he? Absolutely, for want of a better word, twats it with his left foot. And sometimes that's all you need to do. Sometimes you can overthink it and you can try and get, uh, you know, a little bit cute and uh, arty and, 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 you know, just try and play it into a corner and stuff like that. But Sadio Mane, when he's playing well, that's not what he does with his left boot. He just absolutely hoofs it at the goal. And more often than not, he's doing better than his XG, which I really, really like. So there you go. I mean, if you like the statistical and tactical side of football, get over to the redbentv.com. It's £5 a month. It's free for the first month. You can watch the entire show. It is 40 minutes long, and we delve deep into all the stats. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Redmen TV on both YouTube and the website.